Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back to uh, Spring Day 4. We're kicking things off right into it. We're going to get right into this. Um, I'm not sure, you know, what we usually do. I think we've always gotten right into it. But what we're doing is we're going to finish uh, this little barn. We're going to go ahead and go get our cows. Talk to a few people in town. See if they need anything because um, sometimes they need help or they need you to find something. Or they need you to build something that's really expensive. Oh, I don't have a pickaxe. Well, that's problematic. All right, so we'll just go ahead and, I guess, not take out that stone. But uh, welcome, welcome. Hopefully, if you you've missed a couple, of, oh, 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 I can't speak today. If you missed the past episodes, some of this might not make sense. So I would encourage you to kind of go check those out. Uh, they're numbered, so this is four. So let's go back to one, everyone. Um, I'm gonna be nice today, or not. All right, how many more of these fences do I have? Like 15. All right, so that will make somewhat of a decent size pen cage holdy make holdy face thing. There we go. Oh, auto fence messed up. All right, close enough. So let's go ahead and I don't remember. Olive, good girl. Almost called her a boy. What are the crops doing? They're growing. All right, so. Who did we need to go talk to? Was it the mayor when he said, come talk to me when we're done? Oh, excuse me. Had a yawn real quick. Oh, there's Oscar the Grouch. Oh, I get it. That's probably why he's all all angry and grouchy, because he's Oscar the Grouch. All right, Max. Where's my cows, boy? I can't see the... What the... What happened there? All right, that was weird, but I got that. I've been hearing about the fabulous new barn you built. Yep. Sounds like everything is in order. Yep. Oh, just straight up? Here are a few cows we managed to round up. They are, they all ran away when previous owner the previous owner left. Good luck. I don't know what happened to his voice. By the way, we've been looking for good builders for a long time. Sometimes we get notices from people who want to move in here. Before that, they need a house to live in. Given your impressive work, uh, I think you need to go check that out again, boss. Uh, on the board, you'd uh, we'd love your help. Come check in me every once in a while. New requests usually come in every week or so. In the meantime, it might be a good idea to get to know everyone. There's bound to be someone looking for assistance. I know Rhea has been mopping around quite a bit, or moping, ever since she's arrived. She's bound to have a task for you. If that doesn't appeal, you can always head off exploring or kick back and look after your farm. It's all up to you, really. You just, uh, we just want to see you make of the place. We just want to see what you'll make of the place. Alright, alright, yep, yep, got it. Thanks, boss. Thanks, Max. Uh, we're gonna go check Reyna out. Not like that. So it goes, um, oh man, voices are my kryptonite because I want to do them, but then I never remember. Uh, all right, default girl voice because I don't know what a cat would sound like if it was a person. So here we go. Whoa, I nearly ran, ran right over you there. Uh, what? It's not like I'm an elf. Oh, I am, Ha! <laughs> but not a gnome. You must be new around here. I'm Eris. Skateboards and bugs are my thing. Look me up sometime. On what? Did she mean like social media or am I supposed to just look her? She just hit me. Yo. Yo. Yo, yo. Back of the head, just hammer punch. All right, Oscar, what do you got? There. No, that's the other guy. What would a grouchy person sound like? Yeah. Uh, there are too far. Yeah, there are. Uh, there are far too many youngsters in this town. It's hard to find anyone who shares my concerns. What are your concerns? You can't just make open statements. It feels good to patrol the, the village every day. I'm the one keeping our streets clean. Thanks, Oscar. Alright, anyone else we need to meet today? I feel like this is just going to be a social, social gathering today. We're just going to go check. Alright, Rowan, what do you got? Ah, oh, it's good to see you, S-Man 2. What can I do for you today? Uh, uh, you got any rumors? 
Supposedly, Maximilian is having a little trouble. He just told me that Reyna was having trouble. What is going on with these people? I'm about ready to just torch the buildings down and saw their arms off or something. All right, Max. If you tell me that you don't have anything. I really have a carving for carrot cake right now. I wonder if I could get one somewhere. Is that like low-key hints? Or perhaps a kind stranger might help out. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe I was too stuck. <laughs> and he finished that. Oh, so mean. Well, you can't. You know what, Max? This is kind of. It's kind of not a beat around your bush kind of business here. If you want a cake, you gotta flat out ask me, man. You can't just drop subtle hints because I won't take it. You gotta tell me or tell me not. It's that simple. Who lives in this house and why can't I find a front door? Because <laughs> I walked right past it. Hello? Oh, dang. There's like no room. You just come in and there's a wall. Hello? Oh, man. This is kind of cramped, but it looks nice. I mean, far better than what we got. Oh, man. Look at the size of that bathtub. What's upstairs? Hello? They have two computers? Hey, this one's actually facing the wrong way. Wait, didn't I see another computer screen? No. Yeah, that one's actually facing the wrong way, so I wonder if we could help them out. Here, just quickly break that. I'm not stealing, and Kirk, I'm just... Nope. That was a fail. Nope. <laughs> That's also not what I wanted to do. Uh, was it facing that way? It'd have to be. There it is. Oh, and then I gotta put your lamp back. I got you. It's all good. Oh, gosh. I hear the door opening. Do, 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 do. Nope, alright. Imagination. Alright, so let's go ahead and put our cows down that we've kind of talked to everyone. Yeah, it's this way. Oh, let me fix this, since we're right here. Because th there's no reason why this needs to be up above ground. So let's let's go see our cows in a sec. Alright, where's my shovel? Did I, did I ever get one? Yes, okay. Go ahead and mine this all up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I need a scythe or to pull it. Simply dig by it. We're gonna make our we're gonna start working on our, our building and making it pretty and fixing it. Cause uh having dirt and cobwebs and a broken wall ain't gonna suit it. Not for us. Okay. Now put everything back. There we go. Look at that path. Now it's gonna connect up. So nice. Am I going to actually have enough? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, so like, why is this one up above the ground? All right, we'll, we'll fix that one next time. Go ahead and throw our cows in. Oh, yeah, and we got to put our chicken down. I forgot we, we just have all these animals and haven't been doing anything with them. All right, let's see what they're named. We got... Lolisa? L oh, no. Oh, gosh. And Mo Musala. Oh, and they're hungry. Okay, good. Lucinda and Musala. Oh, wow. That was choreographed. That was pretty impressive. Alright, so we gotta go buy a milker, believe it or not. There's a milker. Okay. Uh, I don't have a pen for the chicken right now. Hmm. And we have to go buy a chicken coop, obviously. How many fences? I have four fences. Uh, alright, well... It looks like we're just gonna have to block off our kind of do one of those and then just plop the chicken down even though we don't have any food or anything for her so Francis all right well I mean I guess I guess that works farming license fire we actually we have a bookcase in here and the cool thing is is the bookcases show what you have you know, you don't have to, like, go into an inventory. So we'll just go ahead and throw our farming license down there. I don't know what, if we need it or not. Oh, hey, no, we have... Let's fix this right now. I just realized we have ten flooring. Go ahead and just make this all pretty. There we go. Oh, awesome. Oh, and we... Wow, we still have 60 of these things? Dang, all right, well... Looks like Operation Fix the House is going to be a lot quicker than I thought. I didn't realize we had all these supplies, but let's go ahead and just fix everything. Get rid of the cobwebs and make this place all nice. No. There we 
go. We don't need two of these. Let's just get rid of one. There we go. Get rid of that. Man, this place is sad. Well, I mean, you gotta start somewhere. Man, we don't even have a bathtub. We're lucky we have a toilet. We don't even have a shower. So I guess we should just start scrubbing up outside. I guess that's what we're gonna do. Our crops are growing. We got Francis. I have 18 petals, so it's not like, you know, I'm gonna be really rich. So, let me show you what you do. So what you first do is you go in your inventory, and you pull out the axe that you bought, and you go deforest, and you get a bunch of wood. And after you get a bunch of wood, we'll head over into this forest. Uh, you sell it, and it sells for quite a bit. And so then that's how you get money early on. At least that's what I did. And I'm continuing to do just so we have something because, you know, making money at first is kind of slow on this game. Because until you have more money to buy, you know, 60 packets of seeds and, you know, you're able to turn around quite a, quite a large crop, then it takes a while to get anything done. Uh, another thing, too, and one of the bigger things we're going to be uh, having our eye out, which we didn't buy, is you want to find queen bees. Now, it's a lot easier than you think because the little bee has a crown on it. That's a queen bee. And that's a loot form. Okay, well, I'll take that. That was awesome. There's also that, I guess. <laughs> um, so, queen bees, you buy an apri apiary. It's kind of expensive. I think it's like four or six hundred. Um, but then the queens, uh, assuming you have more than one, they recruit bees. They make honey after, uh, after they have ten bees. And three days of having ten bees, they make honey. The honey sells for quite a bit. So, I don't remember how much they sell for, but on my, uh, my personal single player... Um, I have three apiaries, and each one selling three pots of honey gives you 1,000, um, and 80 petals, so it's quite a bit. So if you want to go do the math, just divide that by three. Alright, how much wood we got? That should be enough. Before it gets too dark, because you will pass out. Let's go ahead and we'll go to the stores, we'll sell our wood, we'll buy a pickaxe so we can fix everything. Um... We'll sleep and I guess we'll call it there all right running as fast as my little feet will carry me we're almost there almost there oh hey we got to sell this beat oh no we're gonna sell our beats hey we can say we're we're professional DJs and now we sell our beats ah all right, so we're going to need it for building and stuff, so let's just sell half. So, right there. So, 121 wood gives me 363 coins. Now, we're rich. Not really, but you get the idea. We have at least some money. And I don't think I bought dog food. I thought we did last episode. I'm not sure where it went. Aw, oh, sis is awesome. <laughs> Freaking chicken coop is five, 700 petals. All right, buy some dog food. I'm going to need some chicken food. Buy some trough food. Chicken food is not too expensive. Oh, awesome. I'm out of money again. So much for the pickaxe. Maybe we can put back one of these dog foods. No, nope, maybe we can put one back one of the chicken foods. Yeah, sell back. All right, awesome. Because I think a pickaxe is just 40. There we go. And then we can buy it back. I don't think... I'm not sure. Okay, I'm confused. But hey, teleport back to the house. So now we can not go that way. That's a wall. Our dog bull's fine. How's Francis? Are you hungry? Why can't I check? There you go. Content. What about Musala? Is she content? I can't seem to check. Lucinda, are you good? How much food in there? Oh, whoa. Okay, that was delayed, but hey. That was interesting. Alright, so let's go ahead and and get in bed and we'll call this call this good so ladies and gentlemen thank you for tuning in with me this episode a little shorter than usual but hey i got one uh feel free to join in next time i'm sure we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do i'll make it a little brighter in here with the fire but uh, you know what to do as usual like comment subscribe hit me up on on twitter and facebook and, and instagram and pinterest and and what's the other ones i, I don't have half of them to be honest but hey I, Oh, we passed out. So close. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. And as always, keep it real.